Hello everyone. We welcome you all to the CBSC Board Solutions 2020. Science exam is over and we are here with a detailed solution of the same. I will be dealing with the chemistry part of this paper. I will be talking about all the questions and solutions related to biology. And I will discuss with you all the questions that belongs to the physics part. In this video solution, our objective is not just to discuss with you the detailed solution of each and every question. Even we will also talk about the expected marking scheme. Alongside, we will also be discussing how new changes by CBSE has benefited our student. So we are here with a set two of the paper and I will be dealing with the very first question that belongs to chemistry section. Here we have question number one, name the functional group present in propanol. This is one marker question and aap is question ko solve karenge to sabse pehle aapko analyze karna hai which functional group is present there and for that I'm just going to draw the structure of propanol and here you can easily identify that ketonic group is present here. Kya likhenge iske answer mein? हम लिखेंगे यहाँ पे कि the functional group present in propanol is ketonic group. And if you are writing in the similar manner, definitely you are going to get one mark for this particular question. Now the turn is there for the next question. Hey, so it's our turn to take up the question number two for our discussion, which was the first question of physics part. This is a one mark question or is question mein humse poocha gaya hai the change in magnetic field lines in a coil is the cause of induced electric current in it. We need to name the underlying phenomena for the same. So we know this happens due to electromagnetic induction. So what is the underlying phenomena that's electromagnetic induction. If you have also written the same answer you are surely gonna fetch the one mark for this question. Now let's have a look on to the next question. Hi everyone, let's begin with the biology part. We will deal with section A first of all, which has got paragraph based questions. And there is a generic guideline, let's see this. Answer question numbers 3A to 3D, which is from question number 3 and 4A to 4D belonging to question number 4. On the basis of the understanding of the following paragraphs like this and the related studied concepts. Let's begin with question number three first of all. As you can see this is a paragraph based question and has got four parts to it and every part has got one marks allocated. So this question will fetch us four good marks. Guys, I'm not going to read the entire paragraph because the video will become so lengthy. Let's directly try to solve every part of the question. Let's start with part A of question number A. It says list two common signs of sexual maturation in boys and girls and it's for one mark guys as we can see this question has come from the chapter how do organisms reproduce and it is asking us give us two common signs of sexual maturation so here you can see in the solution common signs of sexual maturation in boys and girls are number one thick hair growth in the pubic region and armpits. Number two, thin hair appears on legs and arms. And number three, the skin frequently becomes oily. Becomes oily and there might be occurrence of acne. So we have written the three parts here. You have to write any two common signs of sexual maturation in boys and girls. So if you write any of these two correctly, you will get one good mark. Now let us proceed to B part of this question, which is question number three. The B part says, what is the result of reckless female feticide? We know that reckless female feticide not just disturbs the sex ratio of male and female, but also impedes the health of the female. So you can see here that because of reckless female feticide, child sex ratio is declining at an alarming rate in some sections of our society. That is a result of reckless female feticide. Now let us begin with the C part of question number three, which is which contraceptive method changes the hormonal balance of a body? I know 
you guys already know it well that oral pills have a impact on the hormonal balance yes the hormonal methods like oral pills change the hormonal balance of the body guys as you can see these questions are pretty direct they carry one mark so we don't need to go beyond details we have to limit it here only so yes to the point answer oral pills right now let us take up fourth part that is 4c which says write two factors that determine the size of a population guys though there are two factors asked half of the mark will be given to one factor half of the mark will be given to another factor and the answer of this particular question lies in the paragraph itself that is there are two parameters that is the rate of birth and rate of death in a given population we can also see it here birth and death rate in a given population determines the size of a population so this was all about this question number three and if you are able to answer all the four parts completely you will grab those four out of four marks directly in your kitty